So I have another video for you guys today and I thought it would be fun. And I actually got this idea from Drawfee, the channel I follow here on YouTube. They are amazing and I just love their content. They always have me cracking up. So in one of their videos, they were combining heroes and villains. And I just thought that would be a good video for me to kind of recreate. So first we have Batman and the Joker, except for the little twist. I made them female. So my combination of Batman and the Joker, her name is Bajoke. I thought that was a pretty cool name, so I'm gonna stick with it. And here I'm just doing a couple of poses and a couple um, headshots. So, okay, one pose and a couple headshots just to get a feel for this character. Like, I really wanted to go for that deranged look. <laughs> this is why she's kind of smiling and, you know, her makeup is kind of sprayed across her face like the Joker. I really tried to mesh the two um, as well as I possibly could. So technically, I mean, she's a she's a good guy, but she will kill, you know. She's not like Batman. But she is a good person, but she will kill um, the villains if she had to. So next, I'm about to add the shadows, the highlights, and the little details within. And you know, I think I like this character design so much. I'm going to actually turn this into like a sticker and put it on my shop. Like, and like in a couple months, I think I'm going to redo this video and see um, how my skills have grown versus now. actually think it's a very cool character and maybe I should do something with this character what do you guys think? maybe I should turn this into some web comic series or something like that I'm not sure I don't know I just this character design is so fun to me and um, looking back at it there's a couple of tweaks that I would make so yeah I think I will like do something with this character I'm not sure what exactly but I think it'll be fun and you know what y'all I just realized that I forgot to add the cape like if you look up top she has the cape up top but it doesn't follow through like I had, it was in the sketch I had it in the sketch and I don't know where where it went like I just completely forgot about her cape that's sad. So that's pretty much it for this design. Now let's jump into the next one. Okay, so now for this character, I am combining Blossom and him from the Powerpuff Girls. I thought that would be an interesting combination. And this too, this character as well. You know what? I think I want to put her in the comic as well. So her name is Blim. Blossom plus him equals Blim. Yeah. I thought it was a cool name. <laughs> so maybe I should combine these characters and I don't know, have them fighting crime or something, but doing it in a um, non conventional way. And I should add a third character I thought about. 
adding a third character to this lineup. But this time around, I'm only doing two. The third character I actually thought about doing was Spider-Man plus the Green Goblin. I actually have a design for it right now. <laughs> Maybe I should have included it in this video. Maybe I'll just show you guys a sketch of it. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I want to create a webcomic and have the joke, Blim, and the name. Well, I didn't really settle on a name for the Spider-Man and Goblin collab. I kind of have two names and they kind of suck, but I'm going to tell you anyway. One is Green Spider. <laughs> two is Spider Goblin. So... Yeah, not really creative in that department, I suppose. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put all three of them in a web comic. And I'll see what it do. To me, this was such a fun concept to do for a video. I think I'm going to do it again. But next time, I think I'll have like four different characters for you guys to enjoy instead of just two. But in other news, there is a topic I did kind of want to talk about in this video. I'm not sure why. I guess because I kind of um, had this on the brain since yesterday, since I consumed some content about it. So apparently there are some people that are upset about, well, no, I'm not going to even say what some people. There's one particular woman on TikTok that I saw, like, I'm not on TikTok anymore for um, certain reasons, but just, you know, besides the point. But I saw a clip on YouTube about someone talking about Meghan Markle not being around Harry while he's going on his book press tour or something like that. And she was kind of like does anybody notice did anybody notice Meghan markle is not with harry you know and then like a lot of people responded to her video you know kind of shutting her down because they were like oh you would have been upset if megan was um tagging along with him saying she's a attention you know seeker whatever and it was just kind of going in on the lady <laughs> it's kind of funny but one thing that did kind of bother me was when they were consistently when they were defending megan they would call her a black woman i'm like what megan is biracial she's mixed she has one black parent and one white parent and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with considering herself mixed she doesn't even consider herself black but that was just irking me like I'm like she's not black she's biracial so let like be biracial you can stick off for her and she can still be biracial like everybody is not black so i don't know that just kind of stood out to me and if you've made it this far in the video kind of tell me what you think do you consider megan markle black or you know mixed or whatever but now back to the regular content. So here I have uh, Blim's second design, her um, leveled up evil design. <laughs> Whatever you would call it, her second form, her transformation form, because him, he has um, a form where he transformed into like a scarier version of himself supposed to be more powerful type so that's what i was going with that one i mean he doesn't like have four eyes when he does it i just thought that would be a cool character design to give to her or to blim and also while she's in this form i wanted to have her hair flying around like medusa's hair and you know, I've noticed while watching this back, I did not extend her hair as long as I would have liked. So I'll be sure to fix that in the web comic. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I think soon.
I really like this color palette that I chose for her and for the joke I'm going to actually try to make her color palette uh, fit this one more so like I like both color palettes but I like the kind of muted colors on her so I think I'm going to mute the jokes color palette as well so they can fit in the same comic So yeah guys, this was the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Comment down below what do you want to see me do on this channel. Or any more video ideas you guys want to see me do on this channel. And yeah, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.